Hey, this is Chris with Venturesome Couple. I'm gonna be doing a quick update on our water filtration system. I got one last part of that project that I need to finish and I wanted to walk you through exactly what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna be securing that end of the bay so that when we travel, I don't have to worry about damaging any of the plastic parts or our connections. This is one of my favorite ways to anchor anything on our trailer when we have a hollow wall and we have the ability to have a void behind it. This is your standard sheetrock style anchor. And I do something a little different with them. So when I go to put them in, I use a drill bit and I drill the diameter to this. I go ahead and hammer that in and then what I put is whatever I'm gonna do, in this case, it'll be a strap. I put the strap, this goes into the wall, and then the strap, and then I put that on top, and I'll show you how that works out. And that will allow this to suck up behind it and creates a pinch point, and that'll keep it from pulling back out of the wall. All right, so I just turned off the water, and I wanna give you guys a little tip that I use after getting a few showers that I found that works real well. So if you happen to have one of these Nautilus systems, before, once I have turned off the water at the spigot, uh, you still have a little bit of pressure in the line. I always come over here, and I go over to power tank fill, which is just basically filling up my water. So I take this and go, in which takes the water and then diverts it into my fresh water holding tank and now i have no water pressure in here so when i disconnect this i won't get soaking wet uh, big thing is make sure you put it right back on otherwise when you turn your water back on you're not going to have any water and um, your version of martha will let you know that you have no water so i'm mounting this to the access panel in front of or beside my Nautilus system. So I'm going to show you, uh, since this is a hollow spot that I'll be able to put it in, I'll show you exactly why I use the anchors I do. All right, so now that I've got that, set these down since I'm going to hammer it. I take the hammer to seat this. Um, on the very back of this, you'll see it has little barbs. The barbs keep this piece from spinning when I put it in. So now it's flush. And you can see right there, it comes through the back. So this is the part of these that I really like. Uh, for the sake of being able to show you what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and secure this in, crimp it down, and then I'll put it back in and then I'll show you how I'm going to attach the strap to it. Okay, you can see it sucked it right back into the board. So now on both sides of the board, you have that, the front piece, and then you have the back piece. Now I'm gonna back this out and then put the strap on it and then it'll be secure, it won't pull through. Hey, I see a Martha. Hey. I'm, I'm, being a, I'm being a good husband, I'm doing chores. Awesome. I'm being a good wife doing laundry. You're doing laundry and I'm doing chores. I'm finished mounting the um, water filtration system, so uh, I'm recording it. Awesome. RV life. Hashtag RV life. Woo! Laundry and chores. I'll tell y'all, it doesn't get any finer than that.
So now that I've got that in, I did the exact same thing on the other side. I went ahead and mounted one of these. I screwed it through the strap. So I'm gonna go ahead and unhook the strap here. And all I'm gonna do is find the center of the strap. And this already has a washer on it, which helps. All right, I hope you can see that. So I went ahead and threaded the screw through so that it'll line up with the hole. These slide in quite a ways before they actually attach. So I went ahead and threaded it in, got a little bit of a washer there. Okay, so now that that's in place, I gotta move my washer just a hair so that it's vertical to the strap. All right, now we're in place. So the strap's nice and tight. And just so you guys know, <laughs> the RV life ain't always glamorous. Sometimes you're in here like a contortionist. Uh, I believe Martha called this my timeout room or the man shed or something along those in one of my last videos. That strap's hooked up there. So I did the same thing on the left side, just hooked the strap. Got the clip and go ahead and adjust this. There we go. So got it hooked on this side, comes around the front. and on that side so now the whole thing is secure and i went around the housing to make sure that i didn't crush any of the plastic so we're in good shape we're going to do the same thing for the water softener and then we'll be done with this project One last thing that I try to do when I'm doing this is I'll come in with a pair of bolt cutters and cut the back off so that I don't have any interference with any of the wiring or my PEX lines back here. So if you're gonna use any of these type of anchors, make sure you come in the back, clean it up when you're done, cut that off so that you don't have anything protruding into your bay. You don't wanna take the chance of anything getting punctured. As you can see, this one's back up and done now. So I've got the strap on this. I just piggybacked off the one in the middle so that I didn't have to do another screw. And then I have the strap on the water softener. So we're in good shape. Another quick project, didn't take too long and it's secure. So it's making it a lot safer for travel. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget, like, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.